If you are new to Teams but aren't quite sure how to get started, then here are five tips to help you get on your way. Tip number one, download the Teams app. Even though there is an online version of Teams, download the full featured desktop version by signing into your account at portal.office.com. Find the app and then click on the download button at the top right. Once downloaded, open the file to install. Tip number two, test out the messaging feature by starting a private chat with a coworker. Go to the chat icon, select the new chat button, type in the user's name and send your message. Tip three, if you have been added to a team, it will appear in your team's list. However, if you'd like to join a team you aren't a part of, then click the Teams icon and select the Join or Create a Team button at the very bottom. In the search bar, enter in the name of the team you'd like to join and select Join Team. Please note, only public teams are displayed in this view. Tip number four. To create a new team, select the Teams icon and again click the Join or Create a Team link, but this time click the Create Team button. A new window will appear asking you to name the team, give it a brief description, which can be left blank, and decide if the team should be public or private. Think carefully about the team name because it will also create a shared email address based on it. On the next screen, you can add your members. If you aren't ready to add members, you can click the skip button and come back to this later. Finally, step five. A major reason to create a team is to provide a centralized location for a group of people to access the same files. To add files to your team, click on the Files tab and either select the Upload button to bring up the File Explorer or drag and drop your files into the window. I'm Steve with the Protected Trust Training Department and I'll see you next time.